And we're back. And welcome back to part two of Layers of Fear. We had a fight. Yes, see, Nick is saying, I suggested that we take turns playing. And he's like, no, no, you just wasted time walking around the foyer. And I'm like, excuse you? Not like I was avoiding scary things. I Like, literally, <laughs> I walked into an endarkened bathroom. That is like... And did you hear that my... horror re- movie murder did tactic Did you hear my reaction to you walking into the bathroom? Do you really want that person holding hey, the perfume. controller? Squeeze it. I don't think I can. That attitude again, Jesus. Why is there water all over the floor? So wait, I'm gonna ex- control the explore the controls a little more. So there's crouch, there's zooming in. I guess there's a zoom in my crouch. There's an interact. I don't think there's a run option, which is Well it's a horror, so no. You ever seen a horror movie Connor? They don't run. They lightly jog. They run, but they fall over. So there's oh there's a do- creepy door over here. There's, I think, I'm not, what? Okay, this, door. the creepiest part of this video is just the sounds you're making. Yeah, do you really want that person holding the controller? Actually, yes, it would probably be much more entertaining. Cool. For you, sir, I didn't touch the workshop just like you asked. Although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much about for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. So I'm gonna assume this door's locked. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hence the and it's covered in paint, so okay. It's his workshop. It's his paint work. I feel like your Shall theory open... is actually true. Well, I mean, the description, all I read from the description is insane painter. And so far, we've seen he has a kid. Description where? Well, Did you look it up? No, when you were opening the video. But, huh? like, let's look at the imagery present. You got this, you got an eagle this. carrying off a child. Wait, can we see a, a bit of that? Baby. Yeah, we can see a little bit of his junk. Okay, that's yeah, not so good. Crazy. Why'd you, you point got... it out on YouTube? I'm just talking while I'm thinking, okay? Now, where's the other? There's a painting somewhere in here that I saw where it's, like, a man and he's standing over, like, his wife as his kids watch. I think I, actually, I think it was back in the foyer, so let's go, let's go take a look. Yeah, okay, over here. Like, see? So this guy, I think this is, para- this is a parallel. So I think we have kids. I mean, we, the we shoe is over there. So he killed his wife. Something happened, watched, something to, happened the to the kids, and this is his guilty conscience, and that can be explained by the fact that this is his... So here's the thing. Either we are the murderer, and we're going to have to deal with their ghost or something, probably, or I we are someone who's going to have to deal with a murderer. I don't think it's... I think you did it, because otherwise, A, why, what exactly about my behavior is insane, and why would I be tormented by a murderer if I'm insane? Uh, honestly, I think the no, insane no. thing is I'm hallucinating. Are you? And therefore, this ghost or whatever... It's just fake. Yeah. Or maybe. I like how when you fl- the lightning flash, there's like a circle around the window. Okay, we're three minutes in. We haven't actually done anything, Connor. So, okay, creepy. Since we're going like floor by floor, creepy door number one or creepy door number two? One. I should have defi- defined which was which. was. The one was closest to you, because we're right here. That was number two, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, okay, wrong arrow. Can't walk that far away. I keep confusing the joysticks. It's a basement. And it's uh, a creepy basement. Go to the other one, I guess, see what's in there for now. First, I'm going to close this, because like any sensible horror movie, don't leave freaking doors open. Slow the part. Actually, try and slow the, the thing that's going to kill you down. I think this is just a cupboard. Yeah, it's just a cupboard. What about that? I didn't see anything inside the cupboard, so there's nothing there. Is it just me, or does that bush look like a reindeer? Why do I need to have this game? You're the one who chose to get it, man. I didn't, though. It was free, and I chose to get it. (laughs) That was a free game. I'm not going to pass up a free game, man. Even if you don't want to play it. I didn't know what it was. Honestly, I don't see the likelihood of this series continuing much further. Oh, hey, cre- much more creepy pictures. Because, honestly, like, neither of us like scary things too much. Like, seriously. The You're only- the one that insisted on playing this game. I was curious. I also didn't know are it was you- a psychological horror. I probably should have told you that. Yeah, I'm like, I was figuring it was a slasher. No, if it was a slasher, that'd be fine. Yeah, because slashers aren't really scary. Slashers are laughable. You can 
can see stuff in the window outside, but I'm pretty sure they're trees. So, here's the thing. Do we want to go into the definitively creepy basement? Or go upstairs? I don't know. One of the, you decide. You're the one with the controller. It's really unnatural looking lighting. I don't know. I think the basement is much creepier, so I'm just going to go upstairs. Nothing creepy about this. Is those supposed to be trees? Wouldn't it just be fucking... Yeah. Oh, jeez. See, I actually jumped, but that was just like the dog running around upstairs or something. The Literally, entire game I... goes through, and then at the end of it all, it's revealed that like there was nothing the entire time. Like, it was just here that to That would actually it. be a pretty brilliant game. Like, if it... That would be a If brilliant. it, like, actually, like, maintained an incredibly, like, creepy... That was just a tree branch hitting the <laughs> Okay, seriously, Nick, you are not having a good time. Let's just finish this episode. Been working all night, don't wake me up. Don't wake him up, Connor. So wait, are we the life? Or are we the painter? What? If we're the life, we die. Yeah, I know. Kind of like that. That's us. It's a woman. Is that a skull? Yeah. Why did we marry... If we are the wife, why did we marry this man? Look at his taste in art. Like, it's... Look at his taste in house. That's another good point. Maybe this would have been a nice house back in the whatever day this was supposed to be. I'm trying to be funny here. I'm trying to make myself laugh. And there we go. I got the light fine, on before entering the room. I'm spook. What the fudge? Because it said, get inside the mon- Like, literally, they the just- Look at this picture! This guy's a furry, fuck? too, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm pretty sure that what this is that? guy- is Oh, that there's the, the big... key. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. Tonight's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. Oh, okay. So, okay, so we're seeing some- So, I feel more... like those are two different people writing. Yeah. So clearly, there's a big bad wolf there. Check out the big bad wolf. Wait, what do you mean? Where? On the desk. The painting there. Or the picture. Oh. That. Oh, there's one. Well, this isn't foreshadowing the slightest. That's it? Yep. That's not how the story ends. Oh, hey, look, Mardu. Mardu, look at My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do these illustrations in the first place. For all time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task. Because I experienced... I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. But I didn't expect us to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for <laughs> our kid's bedtime story. There's no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together, your old pal Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. Okay, so clearly the writer, ha the painter has issues. Some... And seeing as it said, get in the head of an insane painter, I'm a s I just kind of automatically assume that we were the painter. Maybe we're the detective. True story behind the picture of Dorian Gray. Was it true all along? Yeah, hmm. obviously that's true. Do you know what true. the story of Dorian Gray is? Yeah. Obviously oh, hey, that's more story light. true. Honestly, you know what would be a great way to fuck with the player? Make you Dorian Gray. Like, have you explore every room in the house, ex and like starting out with this really, really creepy ambiance. But then in every room, as you go along, like you're able to turn on all the lights, and nothing ends up happening. But then eventually, once you've explored fully every single the room, just shut off. and you have all the lights on, they all shut off and can't be turned on again. But then what would happen? Oh, well, then the creepy shit would happen. Like you then would be started. Like, you would then start be, like... You'd then start to get, like, hunted, and you have this, like... And you're only able to dimly see the sil silhouette of everything around you. See, I would say it's and the creepy music only... that's making this worse, but it's also the... the yeah, I, it... Like, it's ingenious. Like, look at the way the camera moves. Like, it feels like a person's eyesight. Yeah, like, it feels like there's... Like, if we die, there's some sort of... 
Oh, broken glass. So clearly this guy some is domestic. A bit too so much. like either it can mean one of two things. Either like when it says get in the mind of an insane painter, either you are said insane painter and we are inside his mind by being from his point of or view, we're investigating. or like we're inside his dream. Or we are ex going to experiment his experience his psychotic breakdown as he hunts and kills us and wants to murder us. And so once again, we're back out in the hallway. Oh, pause the game and the episode. I think I'm going to end this series here. Yeah. Because uh, I'm spooked. Okay, so if we're... Let's make an agreement, though, for the sake of the viewers... Because nothing has happened. What? Oh. Oh, okay, there's blood. What are we doing for the sake of the viewers? I think maybe we should try and do one definitively creepy thing for the sake of the viewers. Nope.